Hello, hello, and here we are talking about myth, talking about storytelling as we go into the next unit uh, together. So when you're talking about myth, you're, you're talking about storytelling that um, goes into the depths of the human experience. Myth, it's not about is did something happen, did something not happen. It's not about, well, that's just a story or um, it's not about having that be unimportant and only these, these actual events, if you want to say that, are important. What myths do is they tell a story of a journey of a people and they, they, they touch into the deep truth of every human experience. These hero journeys, these, these journeys where they, they're the stories that bring us beyond and outside of ourselves. And then at the exact same time, they're what invite us into our very selves and into our very experiences. So they're great teachers and they're great spiritual guides. Um, often, not all the time, sometimes their stories are, you know, sometimes they're just these stories or whatever. Uh, but when you're looking at myth, when you're looking at myths that cultures of the past have told, they are there, there's meaning, there's depth, there's things to guide people through. So what I have here is myth points to the deep truths of life that help bring meaning to, uh, to and guide our lives. I put the wrong one, I forgot the you. Also offering the idea that we can shift and mold our own stories. So life is stories. That's what life is. It's, it's a it's sequence of all of these stories. And what we end up starting to realize is that we become authors within our own story, that we become the narrators, that we're, we're actually the ones a lot of the times with the pen. And a lot of it is responding to things that are happening around us. Um, that we're able to respond with with the pen and there's things around us that you can't really control. But what lots of myths do is they deal with that so you read it through another person's experience and you bring it within your own. Now, Joseph Campbell was one of the huge teachers on this idea of myth and was able to see all of these patterns in these, these, these stories from all of these different cultures throughout all of time. And what it is is he found this, that there was this hero's journey. There was this um, truth, this, this, this thread, that thread that brought all of these stories of, of his commonality together within and through them. And it's really, really important within our culture as well and within our own lives to understand this importance of story, the importance of allowing myth, allowing poetry, allowing art to be able to pull us through and into our lives at a, at a deeper level and to understand the sacredness of our lives. So our myths help us know our sacredness. That's the other one when Joseph Campbell was talking about. Somebody asked him, well, what makes something sacred? And uh, he said, well, all you have to do is you draw a circle around it and then it's you make it sacred. And the guy's like, what? So he took off his watch and he put his watch on the table and he drew a circle around it. And he said, there, now I have made that watch sacred because to me, it is something sacred. And the lesson in that is the goal is to hopefully that you can draw that circle around yourself to say this, this is who I am. This is me and I am sacred. My life experiences are sacred. My being sees that you are also sacred. But if you are going to be a part of my journey, take off your shoes because this is sacred ground. You know, like not, you don't have to force everyone around you to take off their shoes. It's, it's a myth. It's a story. It's a, it's an idea of the sacredness of our own lives. And the only one who can realize the sacredness of your own life is you. So I love that idea of drawing. It's you that draws the circle around yourself or, or whatever it is, the sacred time, the sacred things that help you bring to into yourself. Um, with this 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 journey of, of being human, of being alive in our life. It's a really beautiful thing. So we're going to look a little bit at myth. We're going to look a little bit at Joseph Campbell and some of his thing, thoughts on it. And then you'll be able to look at something like Norse mythology or um, uh, you, might, you might go into some First Nations myths. Whatever it is that you are going to go into, you'll get to choose to do a little research project written on that. Uh, so that's part one of this lecture series of probably two videos. Ha ha. Well, of me and then a couple of Joseph Campbell. Okay, bye.